Hey guys, so it is favourites time. I didn't film a favourites video last month because there wasn't a great deal that I was using that was different to what I'd shown you in previous months. So I didn't want to bore you, so I didn't do one last month. So I apologise for that. However, I do have a lot of products to show you this month. So I am going to move on so that we can get through this. So if you watched my swap video that I did with Jess, it will come as no surprise that my first favourite this month is the Lorac Pro palette. Um, this is a palette that I'd wanted for ages. I'd seen lots of people commenting about it, saying how amazing it was. And it's true, it is amazing. So you know that I am a massive fan of the Urban Decay Naked palettes. Um, but I would go as far as to say that this one is now my favourite. So I haven't really used the darker shades as much in this palette. Um, but I have definitely been using and loving the neutral shades. I am going to venture into the dark side and give these ones a go, um, but I tend to only wear eyeshadows at the weekend, so um, yeah, I haven't really had much time to experiment with these darker colours, so they go on so smoothly and they don't crease. You know, sometimes eyeshadows can just be a bit clumpy looking almost and too thick, these go on like velvet, they are amazing. So my favourite shades in here is beige, rose, nectar and I really like chrome as well. So those are the ones that I've like, been using the most. And I just really like the palette too, like it's really slim which means it's really easy to like pack away. It just, it's just a really really great palette so definitely definitely have been loving this this month. Okay on to another product and I'm afraid it's something else that I got in my swap video um, and that is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Now this is amazing so it's really easy to apply that is the main thing about this that I love so much. It's not as long lasting as the Urban Decay 24-7 liquid liner. That is probably my ultimate favourite liquid eyeliner just because it lasts all day. However, it's very tricky to apply. This, on the other hand, is so easy. I would definitely recommend this if you are a beginner at doing liquid eyeliner. Um, it is just, yeah, really, really, really good. It's great for when you are in a rush. You still want to have liquid eyeliner, but you're in a rush. Then this is the one because, like I said, it is so easy. So the next product I have been loving is the Too Faced Melted Longwear Lipstick. Um, absolutely love this product. So the colour is gorgeous. I'm wearing it on my lips at the moment. And what I like about this is that when you apply it, it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your lips so some lipsticks can be a bit sticky or a bit heavy but this just goes on so easily and smoothly and yeah like I said I love the colour although I think this probably might be more of a spring summery colour I'm definitely going to try and get away with wearing this in the fall because I really really like it so it might actually be helpful if I told you what colour this was. This is Melted Peony and it's kind of just a really lovely deep pink colour. So on to nails. I have been loving the Revlon Parfumery Nail Varnishes. Um, I have several of the colours but the one that I'm loving the most at the moment is this shade in Bordeaux. It's a really gorgeous deep red and I'm wearing it on my nails at the moment and I just think this is going to be such a great colour going into fall. Um, definitely one that I'm going to be wearing a lot. Now this is supposed to be scented. Um, some of the other ones are really quite strong. This one however I don't think is that scented. Yeah. I don't really smell this one at all. 
and even on the other ones the smell kind of only lasts for a day. I am a sucker for packaging and I just love this bottle, I just think it's so cute. Now my next favourite is something that I own, um, it was a tester that I received and it is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud and wow this product is amazing. Um, so I got this again in my swap that I did with Jess and on the video um, Mummy Loves Makeup said to me put it on before you go to bed and leave it on all night and then you're going to wake up in the morning and your skin is just going to be amazing. So at first I was a bit sceptical because I wasn't sure how leaving a face mask on overnight was going to be. I thought it might be uncomfortable, sticky and just not very nice. So when you apply it's really really thick and you probably there's about three or four applications in one of these small testers and I put it on and it smells like summer it smells like coconut just mm, yumminess I don't know oh yeah I can still smell it oh it was so oh, so good um, and yeah I put it on before I went to bed and I woke up in the morning the next day and my skin just looked incredible it was really like radiant and plumped and yeah I am definitely definitely going to be purchasing this it is quite pricey however so I haven't purchased it yet because I'm trying to save um but wow this is incredible so the last item that I've been loving through September is a non-beauty favourite and it is oh if I can pick it up my new Muji acrylic storage cases for all my makeup. I love this so much. It's such a great way to store all your makeup. It just keeps it all really neat and clean looking. So I need to get some more of these because I've filled it up already. Um, but you can just stack them on top of one another. They also come in different sizes. I feel really organised having all my makeup stored like this because I can see everything so I can just go instantly to what I want. Um, so just in the top I've got all my lipsticks, well not all of them, just the ones that will fit in here. And then the next one I've got my blushes and powders, again just the ones that will fit in here and the ones that I use the most. Ooh, ooh. And then in the bottom, it's kind of a bit of a, a mismatch of things, but I've got more powders, some concealers, and some little mini eyeshadows. And yeah, I think this was like £15.99, which I think is a real bargain. I've seen some of them online and they can be really, really expensive. So, you know, it's really good quality. And yeah, if you haven't got one of these, definitely recommend getting one because like I said it's a great way to keep everything stored and it looks really really good so that was all of my favorites guys I just wanted to say also that my channel reached a thousand subscribers in September and it's just incredible I was over the moon um, and that is all thanks to you guys I just want to say a massive massive thank you um, yeah it's incredible just how supportive you all are and yeah I couldn't believe it I looked on my phone and yeah wow if I could reach through the camera and give you all a hug to say thank you I would but that would be a little bit weird don't forget that you can also follow me on Instagram at Peachy Gem and also Twitter at Love Peachy Gem. I'll put the links down below and I would love for you to come and follow me on there too and I will also follow you back. So yeah, I have nothing else to say other than I love you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Ooh. September favourites? done.